Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome back to another episode of One Hour Limit Locked. Day 19 here of the third season. Things have been going good, but also we did not manage to kill the bosses yesterday that we are planning to. So we're sort of pivoting our plan ever so slightly to work on our levels and stuff before we intend to go back to the bosses but i don't think that's going to happen today y'all because i'm pivoting once again i have decided it's worth doing the herb law training 10 entire levels it's going to take us like 1050 attack potions super attack potions and we're going to lose about 270 GP on each one of those from component cost to sold product. So this is going to cost us a bit of money, but according to the wiki, you can mix 2,500 potions an hour, which means this should take us half an hour around. And because of that, I think it's worth it. I said yesterday, like, if, it, if it's going to take us, like, more than a day, it's not worth it. Half a day? I have no excuse, really. I should be doing this 100%. So... I'm gonna be, I'm gonna spend half an hour mixing potions today, which will delay our defense training ever so slightly, but it will mean that all of the training we do at Perilous Moons is more efficient after that point, because we're gonna have like an extra five or six potion boost constantly. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go harvest up my farm run, of course. I am still hoping to get Olaf's quest done today too. I think we're probably going to start with Olaf's and then go do the potions after, but I don't know, maybe I'll do the other way around. We'll see if the uh, component materials just buy instantly or not. Oh, nice first patch of the day, very nice. Oh, and yeah, someone commented yesterday, Marshmallow, I think, about noting herbs at the Tall Leprechaun. For anyone who didn't know, yes, you can you can know anything that you get from a farming patch by using it on the total leprechaun. So these grimy herbs I could note, but I usually clean them and then note them, just because we're cleaning them all anyway. But yeah, you can do the grimy ones either. You just use it on the leprechaun and that's it. Definitely handy for farm runs of any kind. Uh, the only thing you can't note that way is like logs from a tree that you cut, that you grow. Those do need to be banged normally. Which I disagree with for what it's worth. I feel like the logs from trees that you grow should be notable by a tall leprechaun. And that alone would have been enough to fix woodcutting without the need for all this forestry bollocks. Just my opinion. Should we get all laughs up and see what we actually require for it? And fuck all basically. Just a, a boost that we can get for fuck all price. I'll probably just go smack this out to be fair. But I think I'll put my offer in for the uh, unfinished Eric potions first. Just in case they do instant buy, then we can have an offer in for a bit at least. I can't see them being that unstable though. Now the real question is whether I had any eye of new in the bank and it doesn't look like I do. Alright, all our patches have grown once again. A solid day from the Renars. Just printing money with these bad boys. Price is 26k at the minute, which doesn't seem too bad compared to how it's been recently, so... Get a couple days more worth when we go back to the G in a sec. I didn't bring a wealth though. We get 50 Renars today? That's not bad at all. Right, let's just grab anything we have to offload. That'll do. Man, nothing insta sold other than the bird's nest. How many do we need? 1050. That is not pretty. I'm gonna have to put it up ever so slightly as well because it wasn't on price. I just thought I'd try it. Oh, what's the fucking axe 
Men's Folly, is that it? Yes. Okay. Okay, and some of our irrits are starting to come through. Okay, okay. Right. I am just gonna get the Eye of Newts here too, I think. Yeah, that's cheap enough. Right, let's go do all laughs and then hopefully those irrits will have bought by the time we are done. So we need a little bit of combat gear, not three tinder boxes. Yeah, this this will be fine. We don't need anything fancy for this. I suppose I may as well take a DDS and potions. All right, let's get off, shall we? Oh, energy, I should bring energy and stam. There could be a fair bit of running back and forth, depending on how many times I fail an obstacle. So yeah. Bit of energy and stam, good to have. Bit of food, good to have. That should be enough. Okay, so we are going to DK's. Nice, bunch more of the irrits come through. Theoretically, this could be either very quick or very slow. And it's entirely RNG dependent. I'm guessing this is where we need the boost. Hopefully we don't need the wood queen level again. Can always buy enough one if need be though. Okay, Relica. Can we use the shortcut? No. Okay, I think I'm just gonna teleport to be honest. It gets quicker than running all the way back down to the south of Relica and out through the gate and then around it. So I'll just go over here, ring back over. The non-RNG portions are at least very quick. There isn't a ton of running back and forth between NPCs in this quest. It's just if we fail an agility obstacle basically like a bunch of times then we're fucked. Also, if I'm a little slow today, forgive me, I've been feeling shit for the past, like, week. I, I was expecting it to have gone by now, but just been super under the weather, I don't know what it is, so I'm not 100% at my best right now, I'm fully aware of that. There's not anything I can do about it either. I'm hoping it passes soon. Alright, give us some good RNG, please. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to drop some stuff to make invent space here. And then hopefully pick it up again later. Okay, this is the part that could fuck with us. This walkway right here. There we go. Already fell. Hit my life. That was take one, folks. I'm having flashback to my Trailblazer Reloaded leagues where this just kept happening again and again and again. I didn't even know I had these in my invent, but maybe I should wear them, I don't know if making myself lighter will be potentially useful here. Okay, we've still got all our ropes and barrels. Crombons are all- they're, they're gonna despawn, there's nothing I can do about it, I should have brought a full invent of food, it was dumb of me. Okay, walk on, I'm just gonna use this straight on the things. Okay, next one. Okay, next one. Square key. Nope. Maybe we get back to the crown ones in time, but I doubt it. I suppose we could like get a summer pie for the boost. I'm guessing that helps. Is there even an agility? There's not even an agility requirement for this quest, so maybe it doesn't. I don't know if this is agility based or... No, I just saw the crown ones disappear. F's in chat for the crown ones. All right, walk on. I'm just gonna click the gate. Oh. Okay. No. Oh, for fuck's sake, now we have to get another key! Oh! That's three times we've slipped. Oh, place your bets now in chat, everyone. How many attempts is this gonna take? Okay, so agility le is based on agility level, but that's it. So, wait, I just got a black axe from that guy. <laughs> what a random, easy clue step item. All right, take four. I'm gonna go get some of pie. I think it's worth it. I don't need the tinderbox, so I do still need the spade. Don't need the axe. I should get more. No, I've already got a full stam. I'm good. Didn't see that there. Keeps only equipping my weapon as well whenever I wash down the thing. So annoying. Right, we failed four times. First attempt with the summer pie coming right up. Gonna whack preserve on. Have a chomp on that. Here we go. Okay, keep going. Oh, I smashed it, I'm so glad I went and bought that. So glad I went and bought that. Let me at him. Get fucked. Boom, we are done. There is 59 defense. Probably gonna be the only level we get for today in defense because I am now planning to spend a good, good amount of time just 
making potions. So let's get to a motherfucking work. Right, we need our irrits and we need our eyes. We want X set to 14 because it'll just make my life easier. Then we do this and this and we mix this and this. I'm gonna have to find like the best place to stand. I wanna do this as efficiently as humanly possible, so. Okay. Oh my gosh, I just drank one. I don't know if I like that there. I think here's probably best. Got the bank in the middle, potions on one side, draw out on the other side. Mm, it's a bit too close, isn't it? I'm um, not close enough. Bank in here? That doesn't seem great. Oh, that's good. That's what we want. This is RuneScape how it was meant to be played, clearly. Alright, well, we'll see how long this takes as well, we? There's the first level of the day for Herblot, 46. Plenty more to come before we're done. 47. 48. We're about a fifth of the way through them. This is going very fast. 4 to the 9. Did drink an extra dose of super attack during one of the banking sessions by clicking too fast from the banker to try and bank my super attacks. So I've started going the other way now, making sure I draw out first and then bank and then draw out. It's a bit of a zigzag. Like that. The big fiver. Five more levels to go till we are done with our herb law training probably forever on this account. I do think it's worth it for the super strength buff from this potion at Naples Lake because that will increase our DPS a lot, same as the super attack buff did. However, the super defense buff is ultimately not going to increase our DPS at all, and that's the only thing we care about there because we've got pre, pre melee up the whole time anyway while we're training. So there's not much point going for the super defense. It would be nice to help killing the bosses, but I think I'm actually just going to take a super defense potion with me to the bosses. Maybe even a divine one for my next attempt. There's 51. We are about halfway through our potions. Done 504 so far out of 1050. Recently started using the chat filter plugin. I only started using it like a few days ago. For those who don't know, you can collapse the game chat so that it shows the repeat message with account rather than actually just spamming your chat log. It's kind of cool. I reckon by the time we finished this, it's going to be, I don't know, like somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes left on the clock. Not quite. We need to do our birdhouse runs before the session ends time, but also not really enough time to journey back to Naplesley because it takes us a couple of minutes to get there teleport and then gliding and then running so and then like to get set up with the potions as well before we can actually start killing things i don't really feel like it's going to be worth i feel like by the time we get set up we'll be leaving again there's 52 herb law coming in so the only other thing i can think of that i might be able to just do a little bit of to fill some time is hopping over to the blast furnace we are going to need to get up to 55 smithing for defender of varrock which is six more levels best way i can think to do that is just goldsmith gauntlets at the blast furnace we don't currently have the goldsmith gauntlets we've got the cooking gauntlets but we can get the gold ones quickly enough just by going to visit the guy in alcrid mine so yeah the time it takes us to get to the blast furnace set up is like under a minute and the time it would take us to get to Naples lays up is like five minutes so when we've got such little time left on the clock I'm thinking that might be just a more efficient way to spend my time do a few runs of gold at the blast furnace and get the smithing level up ever so slightly that being said I should probably calculate how much I would need to do in order to get to that level goal spending a lot of money on s supplies and stuff today working on these skilling levels 1,190 gold bars. See, that's not actually that bad because Blast Furnace does them 28 at a time, so, or 27 at a time. Don't think that gold ore will be too expensive, though we will lose money on it, more than likely. It's just the price you have to pay for these grinds. You either spend the time to gather the resources or the money to buy them, and we ain't got the time to gather shit on one hour limit locked. In fact, I should probably just get an offering for some gold ore now in case it doesn't insta-buy. 
not, I can always raise it slightly, but I'd rather not. There's 53, just two more levels to go, not long at all. Five more minutes, maybe. Oh, there comes the first bit of gold. I'm sure it'll trickle in, and it's not like we need it immediately. As long as we have a couple hundred to get ourselves started today, we'll be good. And it was on like 150k on the whole amount, so even if it sells for 10 for the price, it's not that bad. It's worth the investment to get it done far quicker than we would any other way. The smithing, by the way, is a requirement for Defender of Varrock. I can't remember if I mentioned already. After Perilous Moons, Defender of Varrock is our, I don't know, last big unlock, I guess? completing that quest before tombs itself. We'll then have access to both our training methods and we should be laughing. The loose plan from there is going to be to get 65 defense by bursting the armored zombies after Defender of Varrock. The reason I want to get 65 defense there first rather than doing it with melee or anything or rather than doing the melee first is because then we can use piety for our entire journey. I think you can use piety because I've got 70 prayer. I don't think you need 70 defense as well. I think it's 65 just to do the quest and then it's a prayer requirement. So yeah, we could use piety for all our training, which will be a huge increase to our DPS. Make our life a hell of a lot better as we do do the melee training to get our strength and attack up after that. So you can sort of get an idea of how the account's progress is going to flow from here. We've got a lot of bursting to do, we've got a lot of combat training to do, but we're going to be speeding through it once we get set up correctly. Especially with these super strength buffs as well, on the melee side of things, we're going to be raking in the XP. Just one more level to go. The rest of our gold ore did just finish buying. We have 150 potions left to make. So we're not going to have any, hardly any time, basically. Probably get like five minutes at Blast Furnace, which is fine. The better question might be if our birdhouses are ready, because if they are, we should go to them before Blast Furnace, but it doesn't look like it, so... Maybe by the time this is done, but it's hard to tell. Oh, this is the last in video! We had an exact amount of 1414, which was not intentional. It worked out very nicely. There it is! 55 herb lore, we now get the extra boost from that. I am going to get all of my super attacks and sell them. <laughs> Decant them first and then sell them. Count into four doses. Okay, I guess we'll keep that three. What we got here? About 1.5 mil. If the, ooh, the actively traded price is higher at the moment, maybe I could put them up a bit and actually make a bit of profit here. Whoa, <laughs> the insta sold. Wait, did I actually make profit? 1728, 1668, and they, they cost nothing. I actually profited off that. Holy fuck. Look at us go, y'all. I feel like a machine. Take advantage of the situation if you can. That's all I've got to say. All I've got to say. All right, let's get our gauntlets on. In fact, let's just get all of the Fossil Island stuff. Oh, we need to put our X back to four now. Draw that out again. Bing, bang, boom. Okay, we got this and this. We want our Boots of Lightness. And that should be good enough for now. Let's go to the PvP arena. There we go, got the Goldsmith Gauntlets. We are going to go do the birds and then go chill in Blast Furnace for the last few minutes. All right. Bit of game teleporting to the Blast Furnace. I think I, this might be the first time we've been here on this account. I'm not sure. Maybe we came here like once. I don't feel like we have though. I need to get on the Blast Furnace world though. Okay, I need to put some money in the coffers. Ask his permission first, pay him. Yeah, deposit for, I don't know, 50k. He said we only have 10 minutes anyway, which is fine. We don't want too long. We want our ice gloves. We want our gold or That's all we want. Let's get to work. Okay, get the XP drop before you switch your gloves. Put the gloves straight back on again after. Make sure you do not miss the Goldsmith Gauntless bonus if you are ever doing this. And there's a smithing level for the trouble, just like that, we're up to 50. We were very, very close, but you get a good, good amount of XP from each one of these, so. Need to hit a stam, get some energy. 51. Might be able to just squeeze one more in. Oh no, I need stamp. Wait. Oh no, guys! 
I just realized Scurry wasn't following me. I died in Perilous Moons. Oh no. Free Scurry part of three. There goes a mill off my main for a pet reclaim. And there is another level coming in, 52. I think I'm gonna leave it there and just teleport out. I don't wanna be uh, stuck draining my coffers there when we're doing our wrap up shit, so. Going to get a reset, make sure our energy's nice and topped up tomorrow. Just makes sense to me. We got a decent amount of that done though. 768 left, 432 down. I tell you, today's XP tracker is about to look pretty damn phenomenal. I'm trying to find our cash stack. 2.6 mil at the minute, and we've got like 1 mil in miscellaneous. So, we're doing alright, even despite having bought like a full dragon setup and, and a full rune setup that, that we'll be soon getting rid of. Like, we spent a bunch of money on potions today, but made money back on them somehow. Then we spent a bit on gold as well, so the fact that our cash stack is still looking healthy despite all the expenditure that we've had recently, I'm pretty comfortable with that. I'm feeling good about it. You know, we've still got like that miscellaneous earning, like I say, and we'll be able to sell off some of the lower tier gear once we do unlock this dragon curse. We won't really need it anymore. I mean, I guess I'll keep this because it gives me a strength bonus, but dragon plate skirt we can keep, dragon chain body we can get rid of once we've done the Perilous Moons boss fight. Yeah, things are things are looking good. By the time we've done Perilous Moons, I think we will have enough for a brimstone ring from the herb runs that are coming in. Oh, I didn't buy any seeds, did I? That's why I cashed that looks good. I didn't buy any radar seeds. Okay, so that's the first order of business tomorrow is to buy radar seeds. And I'll probably forget that in the next 24 hours before I record. Let's take a look at this XP tab. 150k today. That might be the most we've ever gained without having like quests play a substantial part in it. Granted, we did do one quest here, but we got 12k from it. So like in comparison, really not putting a dint in the 105k herb law we got and the 25k smithing just at the end there. That is more of a nice bonus on top of the cake. Yeah, a very solid day of stats earned through just playing not questing, just playing the game. We we're very efficient at our herb law, which does mean that we now, I feel like I need to double check that I did get the right level. Yes, we've got super strength bonuses. We're gonna be absolutely slapping in Nipotsley tomorrow and we're fully set up now. So I feel like we go there, we get our defense level, we kill the perilous moons. It's all happening tomorrow and it's happening before our reclaim scurry. <laughs> just in case I fuck up and die again. That is going to be all for this one though, I hope y'all are having fun still. Let me know in the comments if you are and shout out Scurry with uh, with the free Scurry. Give me some moral support to the loss of my pet. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It keeps growing every day and it's so fucking nice. I love it, I love it when new people join us. Thanks for being here on the journey. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Other than that though, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.